Hello, in this video we will discuss about the calcium homeostasis by regulating mitochondrial calcium. Has an essential role in cell survival. How it's possible? Let's begin to understand. And it is also necessary for cell death when the mitochondria will be damaged. So let's begin to understand from the person. Person contains a cell and each cell basically uh, contains a tissue and tissue contains cell. And each cell contains a several amount of mitochondria, several number of mitochondria. So remember, the increase of the mitochondria through replication due to the activity when increase, for example exercise, will lead to produce more ATP so that is why the it, uh, mitochondria will be re replicated and produce more number of mitochondria within the cell. So this is the cell structure contain Golgi bodies, mitochondria, cytoplasm, mesosomes, a nucleus as well as rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Rough mean the contain ribosome. So let's begin to understand the bigger picture of the mitochondria for understanding a little bit. So a mitochondria contain double membrane organelle contain outer mitochondria, outer mitochondria matrix and inner mitochondrial matrix. Outer mitochondrial matrix and inner mitochondrial matrix will separate through outer mitochondrial membrane and inner mitochondrial membrane. And within the mitochondrial inner matrix contain DNA circular. So that is why it can be replicated because it self DNA containing organelle. So the in this way, basically the inner mitochondrial matrix contain ele electron transport chain, which that is produce more ATP. Mitochondrial mitochondria powerhouse of cell because produces ATP by aerobically. Aerobically means the ATP produced through oxygen consumption. Oxygen is required so much. So on the other hand, the production of ATP. Let's begin to understand the general function of the mitochondria. Production of ATP, regulation of innate immunity, calcium homeostasis, programmed cell death and stem cell regulation. But in this video, we will just understand about the calcium homeostasis only. So let's begin to understand the bigger picture of the mitochondria as well as the, uh, the uh, plasma membrane etc. here is. So in this way you can see in this way here is the IP3 generator when bind the receptor will lead to activate the PI3K pathway. This is the endoplasmic reticulum stress. And in this way basically is the extracellular uh, calcium contain 1 to 2 millimole. It means that uh, it means the 10,000 more times, 10,000 times more as compared to the inner cytosol, which that's contain 10 to 100 millimole. So in this way, the calcium are present outer and inner mitochondria, uh, inner and outer uh, cell, extracellular and intracellular. So the calcium reactive oxygen species cross talk between endoplasmic reticulum and mitochondria. When the damage of the cell produces more reactive oxygen species, which that will lead to trigger the calcium homeostasis disturbance. So in this way, here is the IP2 pathway will IP2 will uh, convert into the IP3 through PI3K pathway, and in this way, the diacylglycerol conversion will lead to IP3 sensitive. Uh, channel will lead to efflux of the calcium and in this way the cytoplasmic calcium will be increased. While the cytoplasmic calcium will in increase will enter into the mitochondria. After the mitochondria entering this is the cytosolic calcium buffering. It means the homeostasis will be occur and the mitochondrial motility is very important through calcium. So that is why the calcium is very important because the troponin and myosin is also present in the mitochondria. So in this way, the activation of metabolic enzymes, this activation of metabolic enzyme due to the uptake of calcium and will lead to produce ATP more and cell survive. But in the case of cell death, let's begin to understand. So this is the calcium and influx move into the cell. After the move into the cell, the calcium level will, will be increased. While on the other hand, the reactive oxygen species is also producing due to the damaging of the cell. So we should need to uh, uh, recycle this content of the cell. It means because it is the harmful. 
So here is the MEM, mitochondrial associated membrane channel. And on the other hand here is you can see this is the IP3 receptor. Any uh, IP3 sensitive uh, uh, channel. And this is the calcium can be in flux and the calcium will move out through IP3 receptor R. And reactive oxygen species will lead to sensitivity. And reactive oxygen species will lead to entering of the calcium and ext uh, efflux of the calcium also. But the ATP is using by the circa. Circa means the sarcoendoplasmic reticulum ATPase through active transport will lead to enter the calcium. But in this case here you can see this is the uh, mitochondria associated membrane will lead to a calcium move into the mitochondria after the increasing of the mitochondria through reactive oxygen species will trigger the efflux of the calcium will move into the mitochondria will lead to reactive oxygen species production more and this reactive oxygen species will give the positive feedback to produce more calcium efflux but in this case here is a mitochondrial permeability transition pore will lead to uh, efflux of the uh, more uh, apoptotic factors like uh, cytochrome c and the cytochrome c will lead to uh, give the cascade of phosphorylation etc will lead to cell death so in this way in this manner the cell will be die otherwise the cell can be survive and the calcium homeostasis normally so please make sure to subscribe my channel as well as you can watch another video for understanding the mitochondrial uh, function so thanks bye